Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today it is April, I kind of forgot, don't know what it is, it's April something. It is a Wednesday, it's kind of cold, it's kind of weird, we got a front coming through right now. So it was sunny for a while, but when I was coming up from Davenport, it was rainy as heck. So I literally got to Goose Lake, which is about six miles that way, and yeah, it <laughs> it was just wet, and then all of a sudden the rain just quit. So it's kind of neat. You can kind of see sunny rain. We're facing west right now. But. So we get the bean planter out, and I got the sprayer out. I'm gonna try spraying today. So, uh, but in order to do that, so there's only I only have like a manual sight gauge to see how full the sprayer is. The only way I can see that is through right here. And this thing is dirty, very, very dirty. So I'm gonna going to to pull it off and replace it. So uh, probably got to empty this tank a little bit and then pull it off and run up to Eberhardt's has one. Might just buy it from them. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So I got 100 gallons in the tank still. So I got to dump this out so I can pull this too. I gotta do that real quick. I think I can just go like this. And she'll start dumping out. So I'll empty the tank. And then I'm gonna unhook this. And I'm gonna unhook this. Pull these zip ties off. And get it, uh, get that pipe pulled off. That's gonna be a fun one to get at, guys. So I gotta get that, that zip tie off. And I'm gonna pull this tube and get another one. Got it off. Now it's time to run to Eberhardt's. This thing was filthy. Trying to get a clear one so I can actually fill up. Cause there's my sight gauge. It just has gallonage up to 800. So I just need to be able to see it so I can actually see how much, how much sprays in here. I got the tube changed. So I gotta run the extra tube back to Eberhardt's. And then I'm going to probably get the, my spray tender wagon out. Start getting that thing full of water. And I'm gonna start spraying today. I'm gonna hopefully try and start praying, spraying beans, maybe get 100 acres done, is what I'm hoping. Be a good first day, I think. So we got the climate, or we got the iPad that'll have the climate. Can get that, yeah, that thing yanked over. And I'm going to start filling this thing up with water because I got 10 acres of rye to kill before lunch, or 10 acres of rye to kill before I start spraying anything. So, so what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna go fill that, start filling that spray up with water. Pat is unloading his bean mill truck right there. So I'm gonna go grab the hose, fill that thing up with water, and then head up to Eberhardt's, uh, return the, the extra hose that I borrowed from him, and grab some chemical, probably some glyphosate, or Roundup as it's commonly known. Hopefully I don't get cancer. So we got water coming in. So I got probably about a half hour before that fills up now nah, maybe a little less so go ahead and run to Eberhardt's real quick come back with some chemical so I got my generic roundup or glyphosate and I got my water softener now it's actually kind of nice that I can actually see so I'm right at 100 gallons right now right there so just under 100 gallons I'm gonna put oh this thing keeps kinking. So I'm gonna put right at probably 160 just to make sure I don't run out. And then like I said guys, up oh, there goes Eberhardt. So like I said guys, I got my water softener, which water softener helps condition the water. And that essentially bakes it so when I spray it, it doesn't just, uh, it actually sticks to the plant. It doesn't just come off and go to the bottom. So don't really need that a ton for pre-plant, but it's good to have it. And I don't know the quite details on that. Then we got glyphosate, which is Roundup. Buccaneer Plus is what this brand is, but it's generic Roundup. So, alrighty, guys. So, I'm gonna mix in my AMS. Well, wasn't expecting that. That completely ripped open. There's my AMS. Now time for my glyphosate. Now 
I'm gonna triple rinse it guys. So basically just rinse this out three times so the jug is clean for disposal and then I'm gonna start it up, mix it around and go get the spray trailer out. Probably after dinner though. Alrighty guys, so I am filled up. I got my amount. So I meant to put it on 150, I put it on 170, which is fine. That gives me a little extra. So I was up the rate one gallon. So I am gonna let this thing mix. So I have the sparge bump turned on, so it's recirculating everything, mixing up what I just mixed, put in, and then I'm gonna go park this, go unhook the bean, the 706 from the bean drill, and probably that'll be dinner time. And then we'll head in, go get lunch, and then lunch, my grandma calls it dinner, but so it's dinner. And then, start spraying. So you guys have probably seen that we got the new, new to us 1245 bean planter, so we don't need this old bean drill. We think our hired hand Brian will actually probably buy it from us. So I'm gonna go take the seven and go and hook it. My G-Dang GoPro froze. I just moved this thing and unhooked it and it froze. So I didn't get any of it. But anyway, the 706 is extremely handy because we got that, our hitch on the two point. So it's really cool. We don't need to jack up anything. So it saves us a lot of time. So I think I'm gonna run over and see if I can unhook and pull that spray trailer out before, before lunch. Here's my sprayer trailer. I hook this thing up and try and pull it out without hurting anything. There we go guys, she's pulled out. Time to take her over and start filling her up with water. Time to air up a tire and then spray wagon's in place, the hose is on there. Now time to go eat. So I just got Brian set up with GPS and he is good to go. He didn't know how to have the GPS line set up. But he's got the 340 tractor and ready to roll. Brand new. 20 hours. Woohoo! I did not miss the smell of anhydrous, so we're gonna head in and go get our, my spray rig ready to go. The sprayer tender trailer ready to go. Maybe I might try and sneak and get some drone footage of that thing real quick, but. We got a lot to do, so I don't know if I'll be able to. But. It's a lot of crap in there. Yeah, ashes. So, we got a lot going on at the farm right now. So, Brian is doing in hydrus. My dad is hauling odds and end jobs. Actually, there's my dad right there. He's just pulling in. But my dad is hauling tanks, and he just went up to Cascade to get me get my chemical for spraying beans. That's him right there. Nathan just got here from college. He's gonna start chiseling. My Uncle Bun is working rebuilding the planter. Hopefully got a couple more days worth of that. Pat is doing odds and ends jobs, getting everything running. Well, there's my dad with the chemical. Pat is going to... Pat is getting the 400 out right now. They unhooked it and hooked it up to the planter, so bun can rebuild start rebuilding it but now he's gonna hook it back onto the chisel so Nathan can get going and I believe that's everyone and then Adam Rowling's gonna come back here and run the cat here this afternoon and Curtis is gonna come back and probably do chores so we got seven eight people going around right now it is go time I got my first load of spray loaded up and we're heading back to go kill off some rye some rye grass that's growing in pretty good so what we're off to do right now like I said I just got glyphosate which is roundup and AMS which is like a water conditioner to make my spray more effective and we're gonna go kill some weeds or some ryegrass I guess oh uh, yeah so I got 10 acres then I'm gonna start spraying burn down on bean ground I just went and primed my boom so I basically just ran my boom for about oh I don't know 15, 20 seconds or so just to get water through to get the chemical already circulating, circulating through the boom. 
That way, I don't have. That way, once as soon as I get spraying, my boom's already got plenty of water and all, all the water circulated through. So, or all the chemicals circulated through. So I don't have to worry about the first part of stuff not getting killed off. Ready to spray, guys? So I got two waterways here. One there. One there. I got a border by my. Excuse me. Got a border by myself. Cause I didn't realize I was spraying this, so. I'm basically going to try Right here is where my first section starts I'm going to have this shut off All the way to right here And I have these all shut off So I can have this waterway properly marked Well guys, I forgot how long it takes to spray waterways Man, this is taking forever But it's getting done it's just problem is I just gotta outline these waterways and it's a lot of screwing around in a small field. It's taking me probably 45 minutes to do 10 acres, which when I get in the flat ground later today, it's gonna take me about five minutes to do that. So, but we'll keep on our rolling. All right, so I am all done with this field. All right, look at that rural traffic jam right there. Probably 20 cars there. Yeah, oh, maybe not quite 20. Try and get that boom in there. Come on, buddy. No. There we go. Going uphill always sucks with these things. All right, deactivate my booms. Now we're ready to head out. So now we're going to go back and see if my trailer's got a probably 42 gallons worth of stuff. That can fill up again and start spraying bean stubble. So that was gonna be, that was ryegrass we planted last year that we combined for uh, rye seeds so for cover crops. So we had to kill that off because that's gonna be corn this year. So now I'm going to put in some uh, glyphosate again, but now I'm going to put in my bean recipe, which I'm not quite sure what that is yet, but I'll find out. I'm going to put 42 acres worth, 40 acres worth, and spray that off and start prepping some bean ground. Jeez, can't find good help these days. My dad just parking right in the way. I'm going to fill up with water, see how much we got in there, and. Get that thing up dewinterized. Alrighty guys, I'm going to put some fresh gas in that pump and start to dewinterize that. So I'm basically just gonna put fresh gas in there, run water through the filter, clean that out, and that'd be about it. I think that's all I need to do. Now I get to find a gas can. Update on who's doing what. Pat and Nathan are feeding cattle right there. Brian's doing that field right there with an hydrus. My dad's fetching him tanks. Adam is on his way up here. He's gonna head up to Bellevue to start chiseling. Hopefully finish chiseling tonight. Uh, he's gonna finish. Hopefully finish chiseling up at Bellevue and at Andrew. We'll see. That's pretty ambitious, but we'll see. And I am gonna start our bean ground. Putting some fresh gas in there and the not so fresh gas tank. And we'll go. Hey guys, so I'm about ready to start my first burn down of 2018 or 2019 on bean, future bean ground. So I'm having issues with this field view connecting. For some reason it's not saying it's connected at all. So I'm hooked on Bluetooth it's connected, but for some reason it's not working on the field view app. It says device out of range for some reason. I don't know, it worked earlier, so not too happy with the amount of issues I've had with it so far. but. It is what it is, so I'm just going to start spraying and deal with it later. Alrighty guys, got the field view working now, so I just had to basically unplug everything to plug it and plug it back in and she's working now, so we'll go ahead and go. Brian is right there putting on an anhydrous and I'm going to start spraying. I just did my outside round, so and I'll try and get some more footage for you guys. It's not doing a very good job, but there's not really a good place to put it in this cab, but that's I'm in a good amount of hurt. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry, so I don't want to, I'm not in a hurry, but I want to get stuff done, so that's why I'm not 
I can't take a big roll and I'll cause downtime here. But doing some splaying while Brian's doing in hydras. Way too long, everyone. Field view is working great right now. Auto steer is not working so great, but this is what it is. This field of power would have been hard to use auto steer anyway. Because it is very hilly and very uneven. So, good thing SWAT control is working though. Just finishing up here, guys. And that was my last pass. So now I'm just gonna take my time, go straight down this nice steep hill that I made a little bit of ruts right there. Joy. Wish I had floater tires for this thing, but it is what it is. So I'm going to shut off the boom control, raise up my boom. There, the boom's raised up. And then I got a little patch to do up here, but we'll see how long See how much product I got left, if I can do it or not. If not, I'll just stop back. But we'll see, but Brian just about finished up with this field of anhydrous. He's making headway. I don't know, I'd say we got about ballpark 200, 300 acres of anhydrous in. Maybe, probably three, closer to 300. And right now we got about 40 acres of beans sprayed. So I'm gonna try to get another 100 acres in a flat ground. That shouldn't take too terribly long. Two hours maybe, but we'll see. And Nathan is chiseling and Adam is on his way to Bellevue to start chiseling. There's Brian in the new Magnum. Man, I really want to drive that thing, but I don't want to put on an hydrus, that's for sure. All done. Just did a little three acre piece that we kind of broke up. So Brian is switching tanks right now. We'll drive by him, get a nice look at what he's doing and I'm gonna go back and fill up two more times, hopefully, at least. It's 5.30 right now. It took me two an hour and a half to do that load, but like I said, those two chopped up pieces. And there's Brian hooking up his new anhydrous tank. Oh, that tractor is sexy. Must have sheared a bolt too. Peace, Dad. Always in my way. Oh, this is such a good song. I'm going to go do our Cahill farm. It's a hilly 45 acres worth. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to probably do one more load around here. And then, more than likely, I'm going to pack up and head up to Bellevue. Head up north. Because I want to get Bellevue and Andrew done tomorrow. Brian had just crested the hill. I'm unfolding my boom right now. Gonna get some more stuff done. Up here at Cahills. This here is the, I'm in the edge of the field where we first chiseled. First chiseling video. Brian's right there doing one of our bigger pieces at the home farm. And I am setting up my sprayer. We're cooking with gas today. Oh, you live in Iowa. Farming is easy, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, of course. Farming is really easy. That's why I'm going up and down these hills and spinning out on half of them. Remember, kids, not all Iowa fields are created equal. We are an equal opportunity farmer. Remember that. I could stare at that red beauty all day long. Sorry. You guys will get plenty of sprayer footage for the foreseeable future because that's what I run for the next month. So when we're doing other tractors, that's what I'm filming. And hot thing! She looks nice. This field view is extremely nice. By the way, in case you guys are wondering. So much nicer than that little dinky map I got on the on the 700. Well, I'm gonna see if GPS is gonna work. I thought sprayers were supposed to be smoother rides than this. I guess not. Ugh. And no, I'm not going through chiseled ground yet. Yeah. 
Now I'm going through chisel ground. I expect that to be bumpy. So, just got done with 46.7 acres. They got about, you know, about 100 gallons left. So I'm gonna go spray that out, go get another 50 acre load and go from there. What a beautiful night this is turning out to be. Hey Kim! They're there, I promise. A pair of twins, they're playing. Alrighty, got filled up one last time for the night that I'm gonna spray out, so I'm gonna go back and continue where I was spraying down below and come back, fill up one more time, and probably take this thing up to Bellevue. Oh uh, yeah, rolling. Should I be ballsy? That's standing water right there. I'm gonna be a chicken. Back it up, backing up, backing up. Holy crap, those LEDs are bright on that brand new tractor. Good gravy. Rolling strong at 11 mile an hour. Or sorry, 14 mile an hour. By the way guys, these new lights from Oxbeam that I got on this sprayer. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. My GoPro died twice while I was doing that, so I apologize. I can't remember what I was saying, but I just loaded my sprayer up for the final time tonight, and it is loaded for, uh, we're going to head up north to Bellevue to spray all of our bean ground that is north of us right now. So I'm going to go spray at Bellevue tomorrow morning early, head over to Andrew, spray over there. I think we got about 100 acres total up there, or up, up north, and then probably come back here and keep spraying, I'm guessing, if we don't get rain. So that's what I'm going to do. So, um... Got some food here. Thank you to Rhonda. My grandma's whipping me up a hamburger. Thank you to grandma. And I'm gonna clean up my chemicals and get this thing ready to head up north. So you guys know, that's a sign of a good day. When you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 chemical boxes sitting there. That's a good day. Right, cows? Right, guys, so I'm heading to Bellevue right now. That's good, it's about 10.30, I believe. Brian is right there. Just finishing up with that field there. He probably did probably 100 acres or so today. Oh, at least that. And I did about the same, 100, 125, I believe, somewhere around there. So I'll catch you guys up at Bellevue, but I got probably an hour and a half to ride. Oh, not an hour and a half. 45 minutes or so at least. Well, guys, I was so tired last night, I completely forgot to do an outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, top, top now.